Take a trip to King's Row. And it's going to be <gasps> HKA defending first. Is that an Orissa? Yeah, it's an Orissa. You're correct onto that one. Ends in and out of the DPS. Hit scan player from Fireball. Going to be picking that one up. Apuda going to be playing the soldier. See how they're going to do with this one. They do make their way in here with the Arisa leading the charge. That Fortify doing good work there. And obviously there comes that barrier as well. Two barriers on the side of Fireball. Interesting to see the new hero come out and what they can do for us in this one. Oh, there's yeah, there comes that hook well. from Apudo. Oh no, oh, not from Apudo as well. Yeah. You got me thinking that Apudo is playing Hog before he even picks it. He's obviously going to be playing that soldier getting very close to the attack wise of Knight getting taken down very early in this one. And they are going to have to try and fall back here as they try and wait for Zelf to re, uh, respawn here. Well, this is the thing about Fireball's composition is they sort of, they have to... This is a very slow composition. There are slow compositions and then there's this composition which is extremely slow. You're running a Reinhardt and an Orisa. You cannot afford to, you're not, you're definitely not playing a dive. You're slow pushing as much as you can. You've got two shields to work with. You've got a lot of damage output from long range coming up before the Orisa and Soldier. Here comes the Tag Visor already from Apuda. What can he get done? Oh, and there comes that Earth Shatter nicely placed. Oh, look at that. Can't charge through that one, buddy. Gets dropped down straight away when the Sleep Dart hits you. But four kills in the way of HKA yet again. Um, Shao Lin managing to land that hook, but it doesn't matter. Aggressive push down here, trying to clean up the rest of the fireball players. Very solid hold from HKA, and not committing much to that one at all. Just an earth shatter. Yeah, and the problem here is for fireball, even if they have all these shields protecting a Pudo, he used a tag visor. I don't know if the nano boost was there. I'm going to assume it was, because Kurlos is sitting on 20% on the charge but it's not enough damage to get through all the tanks coming up from HK. They're playing a three tank protecting K4, and it's working in their favor. Five ultimates available. Fireball are gonna have to, they're gonna pretty much have to dry run a couple of pushes. I don't expect them to be able to win this next offense. Well, as, as we mentioned before as well, if Fireball do manage to commit K4 some of these, positioning though. if they do manage to commit some of these ultimates into this one, they might be playing into HKA's plan here, and if HKA can just rotate through them, it's going to be very easy for them to hold on to this one. There comes that Graviton Surge, and it looks like Fireball will commit a lot to this one. There comes that Nano Visor being used um, by K4 up in the back line here, and he is just getting to go to work on the side of Fireball right now. It's really interesting because Fireball and HKA basically swap positions entirely. Apudo is still on. He's still cleaning members up. This has got to be Fireball coming out on top. K4 even on the sidelines as well. The better soldier coming out to play and god pudo himself coming out to play here actually i mean it looks like he did a lot of that himself there but what in your opinion really turned that one around for well fireball? this is the thing for fireball they took that upper ramp you saw them go around the big bend they got that upper position a pudo even forced k4 down you saw k4 he had that upward window k4 had to run down the teams entirely switched sides hka ended up attacking fireball fireball looked like the defenders and a pudo he had the high ground positioning and his positioning was so much better than k4 yes k4 got a couple of kills a pudo was untouched he came back with the tech visor and cleaned up way more members and now the maze out for engineer and i mean he had that super charger as well on him as well, so that could have really spelt the crew for them there. But Zalf gets taken down very early by Shaolin there. We see NZD now switches, switch himself up to the May. They do have the nano boost in their hands, but without anything to really use with that. We might see it being used on the Reinhardt, but I really think they're gonna have to hold out uh, onto this one. I really feel like the May is better defensively, and I'm not really feeling May so much on attack. I guess what it can do is allow uh, Fireball to work different angles that they would otherwise not be able to get in there. Beautiful. Uh, Man, just managed to get the cryo in there. Ice will got to block out any. Uh, oh, hog coming in. Pulling Shayu there. Looking to find some kills here. Can he convert any of these into one? Manages to find a nice headshot there onto Zelf. And then Ating as well takes down that Lucio up on the back line. NZNR getting that nice trade onto K4. But it shouldn't um, be able to get them too much out of this exchange. The Nano Visor now available for Fireball. Gonna look for a bit of distance here. Ice Wall is gonna be good for just denying. Uh, ability for HKA to sort of get out of the range of, of the nano vice, but realistically HKA can just play aggressively, them, aggressively themselves. They have a sound barrier to protect themselves. They have an Earth Shadow Swan. No, they don't anymore because he gets sniped out by NZNR. And now 6v5, Fireball looking like they want to go on the offense here. They should have the advantage. Well, that was just absolutely amazing right there. Managing to find that Icicle, get that kill down, and obviously three ultimates here on the side of Fireball. K4 though in a very good position right now, but good sound barrier on the side of Fireball. He does manage to lose a little bit of time there on it, but still in a good position. Oh my, NZNR doing great work up there not to delay K4, and it is not enough indeed. 
managing to delay this one up but it won't be enough for them to hold on their k4 though what a good position up on the high ground there yeah i mean this is this is almost a case of like it was a bit of a flashback to flash wolf just ahq but just like eric did in that game nzdnr did all he could to shut out um, K4 and he shut him out very well, denied the nano by so that two ultimates denied for basically nothing. Yet it really came down to the fact that Ting and Jing Kao on the bottom side on the cart actually managed to win that fight out. Well, Five will do have that Blizzard in hand, but they do have to walk into an Earth Shatter and a Whole Hog as well. So let's see how HKA are going to use these to keep themselves alive. Nice May Wall there as well, actually managing to catch oh. catch out Shayu up in the back line here as well. Drops the Blizzard as well, finding those headshots and will take him down there. But K4 taking down a Pudo. The oh, soul without unlucky. that damage. Unlucky. What a good charge there from Ating as well. He just taking walked this one into out. a charge. And a fire strike and as well. A Ting is going really crazy now. I mean, we thought uh, we thought Inzin and R or maybe a Pudo really turned on, but turns out a Ting is going nuts. He's he's managed to just land by strikes. He's getting charges just left, right, and, and just the swings. Um I feel like he just used Earth Shadow not even that long ago. He's already sitting up 47%. I mean, it's that Hong Kong engineering right here with his Reinhardt managing to get so much work done with this one. Zelf, a little bit ahead of the team here. Looking to see if he should engage. It looks like the rest Seven of the fireball trying to touch. get control of this uh, high ground. But it's going to be Three so seconds. hard for them when they don't have control of the high ground if they do want to walk in here. Oh, and there comes oh, the Graviton K4. Surge. And K4 is just going to clean this fight up here. It doesn't even look like Fireball are going to wow. make it to point number two. No, they are not. K4 gets himself five kills. CQB picks up the last one. And this is the really difficult thing for Fireball. For any team on offense is if you actually get the cart that far forward, that's kind of, in a way, the best position for the cart to be because you only need to just touch it to get the cap, but also the worst position for the cart to be because your run time is so far. And as you actually approach the overtime, which is exactly what happened, Fireball had no ability to successfully contest it over time. They had to throw bodies onto the cart, which is really puts them out of positioning. And then K4 coming out from the side with the nano visor, multiple threats presented by HKA. There was just nothing really for Fireball to do after that. And for Fireball, what they did really well was, I was sort of wondering what they were going to really pull out with the May. Now on the last attack before that, when uh, it was NZNR who put down the Blizzard, he put the Blizzard down over the top of the entire cap, sort of denying anyone from really jumping onto the contestor cap. Now that was a really smart play. Unfortunately, they just didn't get enough kills. They got a couple of kills, but HKA players were happy to just sort of dive on there anyway. The Blizzard just then dissipated and they couldn't get the cap in. I mean, I think a big thing in there as well is uh, K4's control of that high ground, I think really sort of, oh my God, are we seeing it again? Jin Cow actually going to be picking up the Orisa here as well. Is this something that we haven't seen before? Also, Hanzo coming in on the side of HKA. Yeah, Hanzo's, and the Mercy. Hanzo's not so. I've seen this a lot of times on King's Row. Yeah, I mean Hanzo on on King's Row first point attack is isn't out of uh, isn't insane. It's it's something that people do actually play. Um, Mango with the Mercy is going to be really interesting. They're going to go for a lot of damage boost here. As soon as Jin Cow gets his ultimate supercharge with the damage boost from Mercy is going to be. I'm pretty sure that's just 100% extra damage. I mean, this is just an absolute dream to see this coming out right here. It's oh, your dreams are crushed. <laughs> your dreams are crushed. You're well crushed. Oh my goodness, I was let down there. They are just going to go for that pharmacy combo, but a lot safer, I'd say, coming out of this one. A lot of early damage coming straight and out. They're not the even gates. going for pharmacy. Your, your dreams are. Oh my god, they're actually just ruining crushed. me as I say it out loud. It's unbelievable, really. Well, they are going to go with the Zenyatta. Well placed Discord Orb. Could spell disaster if Jin Cao gets shot in the face by a Pudo. Opening yep. this one up. Switch back to Arisa, mate. This is like Night Market all over again. Jin Cao going onto Pharah? No, not going to happen. A Pudo, doesn't matter whether, he, whether he's playing Genji or Soldier, he's going to snipe you out of the skies. And indeed he does. Looks like just a little bit of chip damage coming in from both the sides here. I'd really like to see HKA try to work their way in here, get control of some of this high ground. And as I say that, there's Shaolin straight up the stairs, oh, right like in up on that soldier, managing to keep himself up there. And it looks like ninth going to be getting quite low there. A Ting getting very low as well, keeping himself alive up in the front lines there. Managing to get himself over it towards the house. K4 now looking to get up on this high ground. Looking to engage oh, into the Apudo. challenge. Apudo needs to keep himself alive here. He is in a spot of bother. The Discord all finds him there as well. But again, no one's managed to convert any kills yet. But HKA have made a lot of ground onto this point here. And they're now going to be forced back off the oh, point. Apudo but there's Apudo. Still. 
Oh, there it is, a Pudo, the God Pudo, shutting down K4, shutting down a Cheng. I actually felt like a Pudo probably could have held his high ground positioning there. He actually lost it to K4, so a good start from HKA. Force a Pudo off the high ground, get the soldier on the low ground, then send your tanks in and get into the back line and force something to happen. But wasn't enough. Tanks didn't last very long. A Pudo cleaned everyone up. Now K4, he's going to go into the soldiers while he's saying, okay, let's have a duel. Well, now they've got to get, deal with that Nanovisor combo as well. Most likely going to come out from them. There comes that Pulse Bomb. Doesn't manage to find a kill. But as I say that, the, the uh, oh, guns do manage to Round do the work. But there's that Nanovisor managing to push them all back. And HKA, very smart retreat right here. Getting absolutely nothing out from the nanovisor combo there and they are going to be able to re-engage onto this fight now in fireball they only have um the primal rage to work with they do have the sound barrier oh, might rocket. be enough though if k4 oh. goes down that's a big deal and nznr just mauls them down inside the house sound barrier as well and that sleep comes in onto nznr but it's probably a little bit too late right now a ting looking to flex those muscles up on the front lines can't really find too much just yet nice fire strike doing a little bit of damage there dropping very low we'll have to fall back ever so slightly but shayu managing to find that and pick onto nznr with the hog obviously hogs such a good counter Fire, to the winston fireball there. is slowly losing position look the um it's it's zelf it's completely cool it has to throw the earth shatter out there it's got to get a hog for its trouble oh. not even going to be able to clean up that kill shayu and going to get the trade onto there now fireball all over the place knight is just sort of Sitting in the middle there, HKA happy to take this one a little bit slowly. Apuro, what can he get done? Manage to kill, get a kill on K4. That's going to shut down the majority of the damage on the HKA oh, side. Oh, Apuro getting very lucky there, but won't be enough to keep himself Not lucky alive. Enough. And they are going to be able to clean this first point up right now, HKA, and move their way onto the payload section of the map. Will Fireball be able to get back into this one? I don't think so, Kevin. It's... Yeah, it's going to be really tough, you know, especially with that charge as well. K4 now, the one doing work. As long as a team holds that front line, there is no way for Fireball to then re-engage. Even though he's low on health, it doesn't really matter. Gapuda, oh, he's taken down, not, very, not looking after himself on the retreat. No, not in, 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 indeed, not at all. And now HKA do have a little bit of ultimate advantage as well as they move into the payload here. If they manage to snowball off this, this is going to be a very clean win on King's Row for HKA. But Fireball need to change something up. And what yeah, are they going to do for here? Fireball, so MZ and has now changed onto the Hog. It'll be interesting to see as well. They, they've, they're, now, they're now just trying to get picks. I feel like it's going to be hard. As soon as Jin Cal gets a Graviton Surge, I don't think Fireball will have really anything to successfully play against it. That's going to be extremely difficult. They have to rely on MZ and getting the Hog picks. They have to rely on Pluto getting the picks as well. If they can manage to get the early picks before, before the fight's going, that's how they're going to win. Oh, and look at this aggressive now from HKA managing to get right past the tanks, up the back line. Zalf getting taken out again. Two kills in the way of HKA. Hook lands, but doesn't manage to convert it into a kill. Gets taken down instantly there by his counterpart, Shai Lin. And now, look at the speed at which HKA are pushing this one through. Tactical visor up on Apudo. The oh, man is going to have to fall back now. There. And what can he do? Look at K4. He's looking so hungry to get him as well. They just oh. want to push this one over. And they just want to clean out King's Row. Getting very, very close to the point right now. What can Fireball do right here? They have to go in. They don't have a choice. And it's, it's going to be Zelfix. He's going to have to throw away his life. Apudo does no longer have the attack. Visor Shailen knocking everybody away. Fireball losing their only opportunity to defend us. HA come out on top 2 0. And again, in an absolutely convincing fashion. It looks like. Everything that uh, Fireball get, they have to struggle to get, and HKA are looking very, very, very good.